What's going on guys? Little Dog Dog here. Today I'm bringing you an updated quest guide for the Song from the Depths quest. I have made a guide on this before, but frankly it was terrible, uh, so I'm replacing it with this guide. This is a follow along quest guide, so just follow along on a separate screen or on your phone, whatever you need to do. Do as I do, and we'll get through this quest together. I'd like to remind you to like and subscribe uh, if you enjoy my videos. Enough shameless plugging, let's get into it. There are no requirements for this quest, however there are some items which you should probably bring. Now there is no combat in this quest, however it is recommended that you bring food and combat equipment as you can take damage during the quest. You're not really going to take a lot, but if you're worried about it, or playing on a hardcore Iron Man, it's something that is recommended. To start the quest you're going to want to talk to Lucille, located in her home west of the well in Remington. So you need to open the door and walk north in the house and talk to Lucille, who is tending to two people sleeping in the beds. Lucille will clearly be worried, so you can choose the first chat option, is everything okay? She'll tell you no, really, no, nothing's okay. And then follow it up with the first chat option, can I help? We're the savior of this world, the hero of Gilenor. So you probably should just help anybody who needs help. She'll be like, yeah, you can help. Here's a quest. You're going to accept it. Accept the quest. Do it. You won't. Accept the quest. Thank you. All right. And then she's going to give you this restless sleep potion. You're going to want to drink the potion this woman you just met gave you. And it's going to uh, put you to sleep, basically. But not really asleep, but kind of asleep. So in your lucid dream state, you're going to want to walk to this area right here south of the mine you'll see these souls these pink souls of men walking toward the mine as well the idea is that you got to follow them but you're following my guide so you listen to what i say enter the cave once you get into the cave you're going to see this bridge here walk over it the direction you're going to be walking is north for those of you who watched my last song from the depths video i have now figured out my cardinal directions once you cross the bridge, you're going to get a dialogue box prompt between a shady figure and the raptor. And once the dialogue is over, walk to the east. You'll find the raptor standing near the door. Tell him that you're here to save Waylon. That's the first chat option. He'll tell you that it's way too late to save Waylon. And that he needs to kill something, because that's what he does. Follow him through the door to the east. Now, he somehow just disappeared, and you're going to be presented with a maze of sorts. The voice is going to give you some clues. The first clue is to walk through the north door. This will put you in another room with four options, and we are going to walk through the west door. Now that you've solved the first two clues of her maze, she's going to present you with two more clues. The first clue is to walk through the south door. And then you're going to want to finally go through the east door. Once you complete this maze, uh, you're going to be put in one more room where you just need to follow the souls north through the door. Once you exit this room, it's going to bring us to our next puzzle. You'll get this cutscene where you see the souls walking through the room, and eventually your character will walk in the room and a symbol will appear under your character. After the cutscene ends, there's a bar that's going to appear at the top of your screen at 33%. You need to discover three symbols. One is already discovered. Your character walks into it right here. And you need to discover two others in the room before you can proceed. The first symbol that we're going to discover is on the northeast corner of this room. It's near the fissure. A little bit north of the fissure uh, and walk around until you discover it. It's going to be the same location. It's just really hard to describe. 
Like, how would you describe that spot where my character's standing right now? It's the thing you just got to see. From that location, we're going to walk west into the northwest corner of the room. And it's kind of southwest of the wavy stairs. Walk around until you discover a symbol on the floor. Once the room is at 100%, you're going to want to exit the room via the door which just opened. My door was on the east side of the room, but it is going to be different for everybody. Now we need to do the same thing again, but this time we haven't discovered any. So we're going to start by walking to the west side of the room near the center fissure until you discover a symbol on the floor. It is located right here. Once you discover that symbol, walk north to the north side of the room, west of the north fissure, and you'll discover another symbol on the floor. Finally, you're going to want to go to the east side of the room, near the east fissure, and find the symbol on the floor. It's two steps west of the east fissure in this location. I apologize if that wasn't very descriptive. I really couldn't think of a better way other than having you watch what my character does. Once you've gotten to 100%, exit through the door. Once again, the location of the door is random. Now you're going to want to walk through the north door in this room. And this will bring us to the final puzzle. Once you enter the room, you're going to get this cutscene where there are four cauldrons and a burning sapling in the middle of the cauldrons. The objective of this puzzle is to grow the sapling such that its roots create a bridge to the area where the souls just exited the room. So once your cutscene ends, you're going to want to proceed to the center of the cauldrons. And you're going to want to pick up the burning sapling. Once you have the burning sapling, you're going to place it in the southwest cauldron, which is the water cauldron, if you were to examine it. Once you place the sapling, doors will open. You're going to want to walk through the northeast door, which is the water door. It has an animation of waterfalls. Some time will pass. Your character will re-enter re the room. And you're going to want to retrieve the sapling from the southwest cauldron, which was the water cauldron. Once you take the sapling, you now want to put it into the northwest cauldron, which is the living fungi cauldron. And then you're going to go to the southwest door, the living fungi door. Now retrieve the sapling from the northwest cauldron. And we're going to place it in the southeast cauldron, which is the ivy cauldron. Now you need to proceed through the ivy door, which is on the west wall. And we're going to retrieve the sapling for the last time from the ivy cauldron and place it in the cobweb cauldron, which is the northeast cauldron. Now exit through the cobweb door, which is on the east wall. And when you appear back in the room, the tree will have grown and you can simply walk through the north door. Once you walk through this door, you're going to be greeted with a cutscene in which you see several souls just send it and jump into a chasm. They're clearly being manipulated by the siren, spoiler alert, who is just doing her thing, sirening away. So they just, for real, no hesitation, send it off the cliff. And your character walks up and is like, what is happening? And somehow you beat the raptor. You didn't see him, but he, he's made it. And him being himself is like, oh, wow. There's no way I could jump off that. Nobody would survive. And then dude just jumps in because he just wanted to brag about how cool he is. Okay, you're not the hero. We're the hero, dude. Get over yourself. Now you're going to want to jump into the chasm. 
your character will get a little run up. And, believe it or not, you get eaten by the Queen Black Dragon. At 5 frames per second. Now you're going to be put into the Queen Black Dragon's stomach. You're going to want to walk southeast and enter the opening. The green slime pools do damage you. Really ain't anything, but this is why you brought food. So, if you did bring food, good for you. Enter the opening and you're going to go into another cave area. Uh, walk south in this cave and the opening is on the south wall. And then this is the final cave you have to walk through. Walk to the southeast and enter the opening for the last time. You're going to be greeted with a cutscene where you see the siren who is located in a very pussy cyst. That felt gross to say. I apologize for making you hear that. She's like, why have you come to my island? Like she's high or something. Choose the first chat option. We are not on an island. You're insane. And she's going to be like, yeah, we are. What are you talking about? And then follow it up with what you're talking about. It ain't real. Also the first chat option. She's going to sing a song to prove to you that it is real. And then kind of realize she messed up. Ask her too. Don't you remember how you got here? And she says something about a lost soul who she was trying to help, QBD. Uh, let her know that you've been stealing the souls of villagers. She feels terrible about it, as she should. And then says that she can help you get out. Choose the first chat option. All right, you seem trustworthy. And right before you go to get her out, the raptor once again shows up at the worst possible time. Choose the second chat option. She's innocent. Because, I mean, she kind of is. He's like, we should kill her anyway. Then choose the first chat option. We need her to escape. Chat options are really irrelevant. I couldn't remember which one I chose here, but it's the same thing either way. And eventually your char character will pick up the coral crossbow. Shoot the pussy cyst. Ugh. And then QBD throws you all up. Now, when QBD throws you all up and sees you, she gets a little mad. Ramora goes for her necklace. However, is straight just destroyed by QBD, that dragon fire. But the raptor protects you, and you teleport out with him. Remora just died. That's what happened. You're going to be brought out to the little white knight encampment outside Remington and be talking to raptor. Choose a second chat option. What now? He's going to be like, uh... We kind of did it. Tell him that we should talk to Lucille. And he's like, I think you should talk to Lucille. He gives you the coral crossbow and some coral crossbow bolts. And now you need to go back to Lucille, located where you started the quest, west of the well. Talk to Lucille. Let her know you saved the day. Wayland's awake. And that is going to be quest complete. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment anything to your heart's content. Uh, watch my other videos. And all in all, tell your friends about me. You can also join my friends chat. Any support really is appreciated. Thanks for watching.